Hello students, now we are going to discuss about the drug development process, right? So once the drug discovery it is completed, the particular molecule or the drug has been identified for the certain types of therapeutic property. Now the drug has to develop further, right? So the group of scientists of the drug manufacturing company, they have to file the INDA, right? So in the drug development process, the first step that is the IND, Investigational New Drug Application and the Safety Parameters, right? So that's what uh, the group of scientists has to file INDA investigational new drug application with the FDA food drug and administration that is the one governing body regulatory body there we need to apply the scientist has to apply for the approval before clinical testing before testing into the human volunteer remember that clinical testing or clinical trial it will be done into the human volunteer so for that investigational drug new drug application has to be filed to the fda so there will be that certain trials that has to be there phase one phase two phase three and phase four that you might have seen into the covid 19 vaccination development for any drug or any vaccine they have to pass this stage right so coming to the first one phase one clinical trial what happened actually in this this is the initial human testing or human volunteer we are going to use in that 20 to 100 healthy human volunteers we are using right so basically the target is the pharmacokinetic of the drug molecules and the safe dose what dose can be safe for to give the particular oh uh, here we are not bothering about any therapeutic ac activity we don't expect any therapeutic activity of that particular molecule or drug but but we are expecting any kinds of adverse event it is occurring or not any kind what is the kind of adm it is following or what may be the safe dose that we are identifying coming to the phase two clinical trial here small group of patient here here what i told in phase one healthy human volunteer here we are using the patients means those who are suffering from that particular disease like i given the example of anti-diabetic so diabetic patient we are going to take 100 to 500 number increased here 20 to 100 here 100 to above 100 to 500 with disease those who are suffering from disease basically we are uh, expecting here short term side effect if it is uh, uh, developing that we need to observe then further if it will pass the clinical trial phase 2 it has to go for phase 3 clinical trial so you might be seeing that during the COVID-19 vaccine development so many uh, vaccine uh, it is failing into the clinical trial uh, the in the phase 3 right phase 3 stage it is the key phase right here large group of patient we are going to take 1000 to 5000 it's a it's a huge number where actually right so basically it is key phase and it is costly also and it is the longest one and it will only decide whether the drug can go for the large scale production or not it can be launched or not it can be useful for the mankind or not the phase 3 actually it is deciding then uh, after completing after passing that particular molecule to this phase 1 2 and 3 it has to go for new drug application again we need to find here ind here n FDA, new drug application and approval again FDA will be having the role we have to submit all these data of the all the three trials uh, three phases submit the application for approval to FDA once the FDA will satisfy with the data evidence generated by the uh, onto the human volunteers then it will approve then it will go for manufacturing where it was a small scale till this period now it will go to the large scale production so that it can be useful uh, for the uh, marketing purpose right then all ongoing studies studies will be further going on it's not stopped here phase 4 that is the post marketing surveillance or uh, the marketing monitoring it is there right phase 2 phase 4 clinical trial here a large number of now it has been launched the market physician will start writing patient will start using into the large scale it may cross the 5000 definitely because it will be into the particular country or maybe worldwide and the adverse event it will be still observing because drug has been completed three months six months one year two years after so you might be seeing that so many drug it will ban after five year ten year also right so it has to be into the uh, what you call uh, observation until and unless it will not show the any adverse event right so uh, what will happen here uh, the these are the drug development process that you can write down right from the ind the investigational new drug to the nda new drug applications and uh, once it will be come into the market that is called post marketing surveillance so these steps it is called as a drug development process so whenever it will come into the exam these steps compulsory you are supposed to write thank you